promised Fox News teabag promoter. As David Schuster recounted on this news hour last night, and great thanks to him, Neil Cavuto of Fox claimed his network's coverage of teabag parties was in line with its coverage of past political rallies, such as the Million Man March, which took place the year before Fox News was created. And you remember how enthusiastically Fox covered those massive anti-war protests in 2003. But last night on the Fox Out of Business Network, a guest host named Charles Payne denied Fox had endorsed anything, saying there's a big difference between covering something and promoting it. He then went on in the same program in a scripted tease to say, quote, why it's time to party like it's 1773 next. So we were curious as to whether Fox was endorsing the teabagging, not the supposed opinion people like Glenn Beck or Sean Hanna teabag. Of course, we already know how Bill O'Reilly crouches on this issue. Now, we wanted to see whether teabagging also had the news programs on Fox News going off. Yeah, cocked. Get ready to tea party. April 15th. All across the country, citizens are standing up. Here in D.C., what I'm covering in Lafayette Park, tomorrow morning, one million tea bags will be delivered by like 9 a.m. Fox on top of teapot is full steam ahead. Americans outraged over unfair and crippling taxes. And how to get involved in the hundreds of tea party protests. Not happy with how the government is spending your tax money and taking from you in tax money? You're not alone. Angry taxpayers are going online and attending tea parties. How about you? Would you go to one of these tea parties? You know, it is unlike anything we've ever seen before, at least in recent history. Hundreds of thousands of outraged Americans may turn out. We know of at least five. 500 cities. Hundreds of towns and cities. Hundreds of these tea parties. Now we're talking about 500 cities tomorrow. We are tracking 760 cities. Right, look at all of them. That's where they're expected to be tomorrow. No more evidence that they're just getting bigger and bigger. It's touched a nerve in, in American people. At a ground, uh, you know, a grassroots level, are fed up. It is a grassroots movement. The big question will be whether or not the mainstream media will cover it. The mainstream media is not reporting on them. Will the mainstream media cover these tea parties? I think they may be forced to. I've seen the other networks kind of mention them, yeah. but in a mocking way. Yeah, um, because they don't understand. I'm as mad as hell, and I'm not going to take this anymore! <laughs> Okay, well, people are mad. A couple of tweets on Twitter. I think this could be the start of a real revolution. It may end in a revolution. Mm. Taking a stand at the Alamo. Citizens revolt against more taxes. Sean yeah, Hannity is getting 8,000 people in Atlanta. Sean Hannity is going to be in hot Atlanta. Sean is on the scene with Newt Gingrich, Joe the Plumber, Rick and Bubba, Mike Huckabee, Neil Bortz, and a special performance by singer John Rich. Let's take a look at all the hit shows here at Fox that are going to be covering the tea parties. Neil Cavuto, he's live in Sacramento. Glenn Beck in San Antonio. It's powerful tea party coverage. Well, I'm going to one. Are you going to be at one of these? I'm or? covering one. When these people are going to the tax tea party, and, and I've said that there's, there's, no, there's the taxes. That, by the way. Well, I'm just, I'm just attending. Well, Fox isn't sponsoring any of this stuff. We're just realizing there are a lot of people across the country who are uh, not happy. With there's a big difference between covering something and promoting it. April 15th, as Tea Party sweep the nation on tax day, we're there with total, fair, and balanced network coverage. Live. This administration has changed the direction of the economy towards more government and less private enterprise. That's what's happened, and that's what these people are protesting. And there's nothing wrong with that. It is not a sham, and it is not a fraud. It's now my great duty Pleasure to, to uh, promote the Tea Parties. Here we go. Oh, Stu, what happened to you? As ever, showing both sides fair and balanced, supporting the teabaggers, and sponsoring the teabaggers.